Dr. Elishama Ide can aptly be described as a humanitarian whirlwind that's blowing very hard on the very core of humanity. The homeless that society has turned her back on, those that can't meet the daily mark of subsistence living, otherwise known as the poor, and the widows. Added to this is a solid strength of purpose in mentoring women into more purpose-driven existence. These and various activities snowballs into visible positive impact on the society. Through her work that has spanned over 18 years, 5,000 lives have been positively transformed. It's often said you can only give what you have. This woman of value with a heart of gold has given her heart to the people on the streets and those in the very odd corner of economics, thereby adding tangible value to the society. The burning desire for a better society expectedly gave birth to the partnership for a new Nigeria, PFAN. With the flames of patriotic fire burning deeply in her heart, Dr. Elisha Maide has leaped over walls of insurmountable doubts and run against troops of unbelief to midwife a series of credible and laudable projects throughout the country. All these through the political advocacy organization, PFAN. They have been working ceaselessly on all projects that ties up neatly with its ideals, patriotism. Raising awareness on the need for patriotism to be the second nature to the new generation of Nigeria in order to birth the new Nigeria together, where justice and equity reign supreme and love for country is a source of pride and joy. In the last nine years of its life, the Partnership for a New Nigeria made very far-reaching moves to ignite the spirit of patriotism. In 2010, PFAN, under the leadership of Dr. Elisha Maide, lit torches and raised the flag in the six geopolitical zones of the country. A very remarkable futuristic feat. Credence enveloped PFAN when she fished out Pat Taiwo Akinkumi from penury. This great Nigeria had designed the Nigerian flag. The partnership for a new Nigeria literally lit the torch around this Nigerian. He was remembered. Nigeria to took notice. The flag. And the former president um, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, invited him over. He met the with the king. Like every of such India meetings, he did country. not leave empty handed. But Akinkumi was adequately compensated with a befitting house built in his honor so and other gifts. It's right to say the colors of the flag of green, which signifies prosperity and productivity, and white which signifies the much-needed peace, has come round to speak for Pa Akinkumi in his last days. Peace and prosperity. Thanks to Pifan. The last few years has witnessed a paradigm shift among Christians from total disinterest in politics to a palpable desire to get in the game. Thanks to Pifan, the political advocacy group. Today, the body of Christ is more favorably disposed to politics and are poised to enter into birth a new Nigeria. Further to PFAN's credit is the equipping of motorbike riders known as Okada riders with helmets and vests branded with the Nigerian colors of green, white, green. With so much credible lures to this patriotic political advocacy group, PFAN, they are not in any way naive about the Herculean task of birthing a new Nigeria. However, if patriotism is defined as love and devotion to one's country, Dr. Elishama Ide fits that definition. In her own words, this is where Pifan is headed.